Hello and welcome to another FittingSites.com WordPress tutorial. In this video we're going to cover how to create an export file uh, inside of WordPress that's going to have all of your pages and posts inside of it. And First of all, uh, let's go ahead and go into the dashboard. Now as you'd expect, creating an export file uh, would indicate that you're probably going to be moving your content from one site to another and that's exactly what this function is for. It basically takes all of your pages and posts and any settings that you have and perhaps most importantly of all the comments that people have left on your blog and basically takes all of that and wraps it into a single text file called an XML file that you can then use to move your content onto a new WordPress site. However, it is also a very good way to do a backup of your site so if you ever want to create a extra copy of all your content to put on your computer for safekeeping this is how you would do it and it couldn't be simpler frankly so from inside the dashboard what we're going to do is we're going to click on tools in our left hand navigation and here you see we have several options for uh, tools which doesn't have anything in it right now really and also import and export so all we need to do is click on the export button and now you see that we're on our export page inside the dashboard and from here we just have a couple of options we can choose what we want to export and by default all content is checked that means that your posts pages comments custom fields terms navigation menus and custom posts will all be downloaded Basically, that's a lot of things. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't download your images. It doesn't save settings to your theme. There are some things that it doesn't cover. But by and large, if you have a copy of this file and you need to restore your site, it's a big help. So leaving all content checked, we could, of course, just select posts or pages if we wanted to. But we want to make a nice complete backup here. And so from there, all we're going to do is click on the download export file. And as simple as that, our file has started downloading. And if we go ahead and take a look at the downloads folder on our computer, we can see that, yes, indeed, we now have a copy of our website wrapped in a nice little XML file that we can put someplace for safekeeping should we ever need it. Really easy to do, and so there's no reason why you shouldn't go out and do a quick export file of your WordPress site. Hope that's helped, and have a great day.